What's up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome on back to our Pokemon Gaia walkthrough. In the last part, we uh, finally put an end to those new elder people, right? We, uh, you know, saved the Reggies or whatever we had to do over there. All I know is that we won some battles, man, because I'm just like that. But nah, um, so, usually from there you'd want to start heading through Victory Road, but you're probably wondering, bro, TerraQuake, what are you doing back in Salanto Town or... You know, whatever this place is called at the very beginning. Well, I think it's about time that I go back uh, through most of the game and use a bunch of HMs um, in order to access some little items or areas that we skipped over earlier in the walkthrough because, hey, this is a walkthrough after all, so I might as well do it. And I figured right before Victory Road, you know, now that we have all the badges, this would be a pretty good time. So we're going to come up to the Grove here. Um, remember, this cable car will take you up to Windmist City, but you can talk to this guy. And he'll give you the TM for Stealth Rock, I believe it is. So yeah, this is basically going to be uh, today. Just running around grabbing items for anyone that's uh, very curious as to where they are. There is a couple trainer battles that we'll do a little later. But uh, yeah, let's come down here now to the ruins. And I don't think there's anything behind these rocks. I think there is one thing that I did miss. And I guess I got to start spraying Max Repels because we uh, we're covering almost the entire region today. And, uh, I mean, well, okay, we won't also, yeah, that looks like a hidden item spot, but no, nah, it's just a troll. But yeah, down here is where I want to go, because you get TM37 Iron Head. But yeah, I say the entire region, I'm just going to, like, you know, all the spots that I kind of marked down. Because the guide that I use, uh, for this walkthrough usually, you know, didn't have a list of, like, places to go back to with HMs. So, I kind of just went around myself and, uh, scouted it out. Nothing behind those rocks, though, and I think that's about it for this section I believe because we've been down here there's nothing uh to really or you can't really go far by surfing but uh yeah I have like half of my team members in the box because I just got a bunch of Pokemon for all these HMs so it is uh it is all good but yeah let's fly up to I guess I didn't really need to fly but let's go back up to the town real quick and this time we'll head west but yeah, it could definitely be a shorter video. Again, not too many trainer battles, just going to be grabbing a lot of items. There's a couple of them that are useful, though, mainly like TMs and Mega Stones. So uh, I, would not, uh, I would not completely disregard this, especially if you are trying to get some of those Mega Stones. And where am I trying to go here again? I think it's up here to the, to the left through this grass. Yeah, here we go. I just did this like five minutes ago, and I'm already forgetting. But yeah, here's a little hidden grotto. Now, usually you can find Pokemon back here, but sometimes there's some items like this toxic orb. So there we go, and our next stop will be the Arkin Hills. Um, hope you guys are all having a good Monday, by the way. I got to remember where the hills are. Here we go. Here we go. I think we're going to want to start. We're going to want to start, yeah, in Arkin Town. Um, but yeah, I'm actually recording this video on a Sunday. Um, because I got behind this weekend. I was so focused on getting a video done for the main channel that I was not able to record these walkthrough episodes on Friday, but that's okay. I'm going to try my best not to miss anything. Now, uh, right up there, that rock climb thing just leads you to one of those little caves where you can find a Pokemon that we've seen. Um, remember, like, back towards the beginning of the game, there was one with a Clefairy in it. It's just one of those. But anyways, I never actually used the Secret Potion on the Psyduck. Um, I mean, you never really have to because... I think we got the secret potion later on. We were kind of already past this part, but I might as well use it now. And, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make mention of that. I don't think there's anything else over here. I will definitely double check. Oh, yeah, there's another little grotto right here. Now, this one may lead to a Pokemon. Let's see. Yeah, see, there's an Executor. So, again, most of the time you're going to see a Pokemon in there. Um, but, again, there's nothing too crazy up that little rock climbing platform. So, let's head down to Aero City and then to the left. Um, I don't think, nah, there's nothing in that house up there. I think I stopped by it the first time around and realized I didn't need anything. I did stock up on some more items off camera. Basically now to the point where like, I only have 30,000 Poke Dollars or something. Um, but I'm thinking all these healing items will be able to get me through the Victory Road and then hopefully even the Elite Four and stuff as well. Nothing down there. There's something here on the Eros Road, though. Um, remember, this will take you back. Yeah, here we go. Here's a hidden grotto again. This will take you back to, I think it's Saros Village. It's a Growlithe. Not gonna lie, that overworld sprite for Growlithe looks kind of crazy, man. But yeah, speaking of the main channel, hey, I've started to stream over on Twitch, too. Um, so those are always fun. I mean, matter of fact, I stream kind of on both. I'm doing a little bit of YouTube and Twitch right now. 
So, hey, uh, the link to the Twitch channel, well, I mean, it's the same as my regular username. But the link to the channel is also over on the main channel. So, yeah, at least I think it is. If it's not, I really gotta put it on there, but I think I did. Alright, let's come up here, and we're gonna be able to grab another TM here in just a second. Now, right here is a move tutor. He's looking for yellow shards. Um, by the way, I got rid of Dive on Empoleon and gave it Waterfall instead, because you will need Waterfall for Victory Road. And there is Flash Cannon. Again, another pretty pretty solid one right there. And let's make our way back to... This should be Saros Village coming up, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there's anything over here. I'll double check. But uh, I think that was the only thing on this route. I could be wrong, though. Oh, yeah, there's a hidden item right here. Boom, look at that. Hidden Revive. Um, I'm not going to try to get every single hidden item. I was able to find, like, a few when I was uh, preparing for this video, but that is about it. Alright, in Saros Village here, we can come up here and grab an Assault Vest using Rock Climb. And then now we're going to, once again, fly. Yeah, I had to catch a bunch of Pokemon. Um, at first, I caught a Gligar thinking it could get fly. It didn't, so I had to catch a Rufflet. And uh, then I caught a Tentacool for Dive. And the Nidoran females back on the team. You know, that thing that we had at, like, the beginning of the game. Um, but again, just using it for HMs. Alright, let's head left of Valoon Town onto the Valoon Way. And I'll just keep Repel sprayed throughout this entire uh, video because might as well, right? And we're back in kind of the swampy section. Oh, man, I don't want to spend too much time in here. But I think there's, like, two things we can do on this route with either Rock Climb, Waterfall, or both. We'll find out, we'll find out. Here's Rock Climb. Um, is this one of them? We can come over here. No, this was just a, uh, this was just like a shortcut through the route. Or I don't really even know if you can call it a shortcut. And then I don't think there's anything up here with Waterfall. It looks like there would be a hidden item over there to the right, but I checked and there's not. That's just, unless I already got it. Maybe I got it when we first came through here. Um, who knows? Who knows? Alright, so here we go. This is the Waterfall. That I was looking for, man. Because as you can see, there's an item waiting for us up here. You move up the waterfalls kind of slow in this game, can't lie. But yeah, it is an ability pill. Um, there may have been something else on this route that I'm kind of forgetting. I'll run back through it again since we got to go back and then north of Balloon Town anyways. But uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm just straight up tripping. That, that also could be it. That very well could be it. Um, but yeah, let's just, uh, let's just go back to Valoon Town then. Unless it was, like, up this way, and I'm forgetting about it. Let's see, is there a waterfall over here? Could be. Could be. No, there is not. Oh, see, see, I knew there was something. I knew there was something. I mean, I, I should know. But yeah, TM30 Shadow Ball. So, once again, this is one of those, like, better items that... You know, it'd be worth it coming out of your way for. I'll definitely take a look through my TMs and stuff before the Elite Four. But, uh, yeah, again, I did this like 10 minutes ago and I'm already forgetting. I kind of wrote down a little checklist of, like, the areas, but not, like, the amount of items in each area. So that probably would have been smart to do. Um, as for the, uh, the Nemesis River, you saw that waterfall a second ago and we're gonna go up it now and then there's gonna be another thing for us and we're already like over halfway through this little item hunt again probably not gonna be a long video then again we got a couple trainer battles so who knows we'll see but yeah here's one of these random little caves this one has a chest and it's gonna contain the aerodactite so yeah this actually isn't gonna be the first megastone we get in this video so that's kind of nice and i might as well just fly back i think that'll be a little quicker than surfing all the way around because yeah, we got to go to the Telmerk Swamp next. Man, I don't like these areas, bro. It's just rainy. At least they don't have... Uh, I can't remember, but I don't think this game had like those little patches of mud that you kept sinking in. I actually just got done making a video on Pokemon Platinum over on the main channel. And pff, it was... Uh, yeah, had to go through those routes again. The snowy route too. Whew. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I don't miss them. I do not miss them. Alright, down here... We can hop in the dirty water and uh, talk to this guy. He's going to give us another, another TM. Yeah, I forgot that it says, like, oh my gosh, this water looks nasty. And then it just it makes you feel bad that, like, you're forcing your Pokemon to still jump in it. Um, nothing over there, but there's one more item up here. Yep, here we go. It is a Max Revive. Those can come in handy. Especially since you can't find them in uh, regular Pokemarts or nothing like that. Alright, and now we'll make our way to the Battle Marsh. Um, once again, another... 
I don't think there's anything. Yeah, that's just another cave. I think it has a Pokemon in it, though, so I'm not really going to bother with it. But yeah, Battle Marsh, just east of here, if you don't remember. It was right before Telmerk City. So, let's see. I remember we fought a rival here. It's almost like we're going down a, a little trip through memory lane of some sort, you know? So, that's kind of cool. Ooh, there is something behind this tree, too. I do remember now. I probably saw this tree before and just, like, you know, didn't have cut anymore. But it is a rare candy. We all like our rare candies, let's be honest. Let's be honest. By the way, this past week, you know, I've gotten some more supportive comments and everything. So, hey, I really appreciate that. Y'all know I always appreciate the support. And uh, really, I need to be thanking you guys for just checking out the videos each and every week. You know, three times a week. So, again, appreciate all the support. It means a ton. And I don't plan on, uh, I don't plan on, you know, ending these walkthroughs anytime soon. Okay, so up here, or well, I should say down here. I think you can surf and then, yeah, there's a tiny mushroom over here that I guess I missed out on or something. And now the next stop will be the Telmerk outskirts, uh, which I suppose we'll just fly over to the city already. Um, yeah, I actually didn't have fly on Zatu. I thought I did, but no, I just, uh, dude, I got short-term memory loss or something because, uh, <laughs> you know, that's just how it is, I guess. But uh, I, I think we're going to be fine without fly on it. Um, it doesn't have as good physical attack, so I want to keep Air Slash on it instead. But yeah, this is where we're going to find another Megastone up here. This will be Megastone 2 of 3. As long as I remember where the third one is, that is. But yeah, remember, we got this super long underground path. Straight up just ripped off from Kanto, let's be honest, but it's okay. <laughs> and yeah, behind these uh, boulders will lead us to another little cave with the Megastone. This one's going to be, or well, not cave, Hidden Grotto. This one's going to be for Pidgeot, though, so if you've got yourself one of those, then hey, you've got yourself a Mega Pidgeot, or at least the opportunity to get a Mega Pidgeot now. Um, I believe that was the only thing here, so I I could be wrong. I think that was the only thing. So now we're going to actually go to, we're going to go to At Sail City and then surf south of there, um, because I kind of skipped over the At Sail Bay. Um, which is in between at Sail City and uh, what is it? Presimos Island is down here, I believe. Now, there's only like one trainer on it. Um, you also need dive in order to kind of go completely through it. So you're not really missing out on much if you don't want to head through it. But yeah, here's where we're going to use dive. There was nothing over here, right? I think this is just a dead end down here eventually. Yup. Yup. As predicted. As predicted. So let's head on down here then. And uh, I think there's a TM we can get to. So we'll definitely do that. And we got another scuba diver down here as well. So I might as well show off these battles because, you know, this isn't really too much of an action-packed episode. I got Drapion up front. I think I've got like three Pokemon that are still level 50, so they're kind of going to be the three that I have up front moving forward. But next episode will definitely be Victory Road. And then, I mean, I'm assuming after that we're taking on the Elite Four, which is kind of crazy that we are already there. But, hey, that's just, that's just how it is. Um, yeah, these Pokemon, though, I mean... I'd say at this stage in the game, they're still worth fighting at least because, I mean, they're in their 40s, so they're kind of around our levels. I mean, Zona's about to level up right here. That's nice. But yeah, I mean, hey, just hope everyone's week is off to a good start. I'm looking forward to this week because it is the last week until Thanksgiving break. Your boy will be off of uh, school, you know, no classes for a week straight. That's going to be nice. Going to be hanging with the family a bunch. Which reminds me, I probably need to, like, do a bit of bulk recording. Or at least just get next week's episodes, uh, you know, prepared sooner. Which I think I should be able to do. And let me go back to Crunch. Crunch seems to always work better here with Drapion. You know, C Exhibit A. But now you're gonna go for Recover. No, stop. Please tell me I killed with this Crunch. I don't want to get into a stall fest with a Milotic. Please, no. Okay. I was about to say, man. I was about to say, hey guys, grab your popcorn, you know, sit yourself down in your recliner chair, because we're going to be here for a minute. But yeah, this little diving section is pretty short. You just uh, surface right up here, and I think this will take us to where the TM is. Well, you got to have waterfall as well, so again, make sure you got this on you. Um, again, I taught it to Happy Feet over Dive, which by the way, that the move deleter is over in Nest Pine Town, if you uh, don't remember. But yeah, there's Stone Edge, pretty, pretty solid attack there. And I can't remember, is there a Pokemon in here or something else? It is something else. It's an Aggronite, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so there you go. The third Megastone today. Mega Aggron, I think, is dope. 
I mean, it becomes a plain steel type. He gets rid of its quad weaknesses, and hey, y'all know me. I'm a fan of steel types, so. By the way, I have no idea how to get to that item. I'm not sure if there's, like, another diving spot that I'm missing. Um, but the one trainer that I have not fought around this part is going to be somewhere over here to the left. Where are they? They're swimming back and forth. I know they are. Okay, I know they're somewhere around here because I fought them, like, two seconds ago. I think they're over there. But yeah, this will eventually lead you down to, I want to say it's Presimos Island, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it kind of just sits in between the uh, two places. So yeah, this is the second trainer battle today. And then after this, we really only have one more area that I will be covering. Matter of fact, this ended up being a, uh, you know, normally length episode, if that's how you want to describe it. But, uh, you know, I know it was probably more on the boring side because we weren't making any real progress. But, again, because this is a walkthrough, I was like, hey, might as well go back and grab all the things that I missed. Granted, there could still be more things that I missed. So, let me know if there is. Uh, maybe it'll help someone else out. But, uh, yeah, Clawitzer, you ain't gonna stand a chance. Yo, has anyone ever used a Clauncher or a Clawitzer? Like, is it good? Because, I swear, I, like, I've never used one in the Kalos games, and I've, like, never seen anyone else use it and that includes like npc trainers besides this person i guess but i don't know i just that's a pokemon that is a forgettable pokemon i hate to say it i you know not trying to be mean but I, that's a pokemon i forget about man okay nespon town is all the way up here kind of in the north central part of the region and uh actually we'll run right by the move deleter here um it's the first house as you come into town right there with the sign out front if you're wondering now, the Nespine Climb, though, is interesting, and I actually kind of discovered how interesting it was um, by accident. But first off, there's the TM for Toxic by using Rock Climb. But the one other place to take note of is uh, going to be kind of halfway up. Now, you need Waterfall to get to it, so you won't be able to access it, obviously, until you've got eight badges. And let's see, it was up and to the left, I believe. I think you need Surf as well. Yeah, here we go. Now, this will take you to something called, I think it's Emerald Peak. Um, it's pretty interesting. It's just a little tower slash cave that'll take you to, believe it or not, Rayquaza. And yes, you can go ahead and battle Rayquaza um, immediately. And I bet you there's some... Oh, are there no, like, hidden shards in those rocks? Looks like there would be. But yeah, um, you can get Rayquaza at level 70 before the league. So, hey, if you want the challenge to try and go catch that... Maybe you just want to go throw your Master Ball at it. By the way, right there's the TM for Dragon Dance. Then be my guest to go ahead. But I'm definitely not going to be doing this fight until the post game. We'll come back here and cover this fight later. Um, because, I mean, hopefully, you know, I'm planning on going to catch the Legendaries. But literally, up this ladder. And then if you walk out to kind of the edge of the ledge up there, you will, you will start the battle. So I'm not going to do that. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. I was surprised that you could go ahead and do this, like, already. But anyways, hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. We'll be back on track next time going into Victory Road. For now, though, have a great rest of your Monday. And until then, deuces.